Today, we're talking about eight important things to know before taking LA's public transportation. Hey everyone, I'm George, and if you're new here, I make videos for people that are coming to LA or live here and are looking for new things to do. And if you wanna get more transportation tips, for LA and find out about new and exciting places to go see and things to go eat like a local, then start now by clicking the subscribe and notification icon so you don't miss a thing. All right, well, to start off, while some forms of transportation do take cash, many will not be giving you any change. So it's best to just go ahead and get a tap card. Get one of these for you and family that you might be bringing and just top them off. If you're gonna be here for three full days and you know that public transportation is gonna be your main form of transport, then it's worth keeping at least 21 bucks. By the way, bucks is another way Americanos say dollars in the US, if you didn't know. Why 21 bucks? Well, if you plan on taking transportation all day at different times of any single day, then it's best to just pay $7 for the day. This allows you to hop on and off as you please. But if you don't plan on using it much or just going the short distances, then just stick with the 175, which is gonna give you two hours, and that's gonna include transfers to other metro lines to complete your one-way trip. Tap cards are just two bucks, and you can buy them from any of the tap vending machines in just about all the metro rail stations, along with from the drivers of the bus, which will only allow for a max of $20 in stored value. No longer can you buy a day pass on the bus, but you can get the tap cards at any of over 400 vendor locations, which I have left a link for below in the description. Or if you're a savvy one, you'll go online and buy them there and you can also reload it. I've left you a link down below. I haven't noticed any contactless ways to pay from your phone or from credit cards yet, so best to just have the card to get around. You're gonna get charged for every two hours and that includes transfers to other metro lines as long as it's stored value and that's important. There will be times where you'll pay 75 cents during peak hours extra or a little bit less for off peak times if you wanna get on other lines like the Silver Line which is gonna take you out to let's say Long Beach. But most lines in LA like the orange and the red buses, they're gonna be included for those two hours. Not to worry, I've included a link below that'll show you all the agencies that are included where you won't have to pay that extra fee. Like if you're going from downtown LA and then hopping on the big blue bus in Santa Monica or Venice Beach. Now, if you plan on being here for five or seven days, let's say, and plan on taking the buses or Metro Rail more than twice a day, then I highly recommend getting the seven day pass, which at the time of this recording is 25 bucks, which breaks down to $3.60 a day. And obviously that beats the seven bucks. There's also a 30 day pass, but honestly, at that point, maybe consider taking a Lyft or Uber from time to time to save some time, because there's nothing more important than your time. Okay, this is getting long, let's move on. Between you and me, LA sets the bar pretty damn high when it comes to rush hour traffic. So if you can avoid getting on the roads at that time, do it. You'll avoid major crowds and that nutty traffic. Places and things here can be far from each other. So as much as I wanna say walk or bike if you can, I side with you, it can be a long walk, but try. Off peak hours are weekdays, Monday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then again from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. And then of course on weekends. If steps aren't your thing, buses are equipped with ramps and have wheelchair accessible seating and trains as well. All stations have elevators where need be, but pay attention to the TV screens to check if any of the elevators are out in your stop. Doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. All stations are fully accessible to all. LA's transportation system doesn't really have any daily caps, so if you plan on using the Metro four times or more, so two trips there, two trips back, or planning on traveling around a lot each day, it's best to just pay the $7 to get around all day. Unlimited access as mentioned, and as well as other trans and agencies. There are three ways or three ways to check your tap card balance that I can think of. One, use the station validators at the stations or tap at the station turnstiles and it's gonna flash your balance. Careful not to tap just to check your balance at the turnstile if you think it's been more than two hours since your last tap or you're gonna get charged again. You can also check at the kiosk and press the button to check the balance. Okay, so here's how to stop a bus. Once you see your bus coming, make sure to give it a little wave or just stick your hand out. This tells the driver to stop. Not all buses are gonna stop if it's a short line bus or if no one on the bus has requested to exit at that stop, 
It might not. <laughs> funny, but not so funny. I've myself been standing there and the bus drove right past me because I didn't put my hand out, even though I was standing right at the edge of the street in plain sight. So don't let that happen to you. When you're on the bus and your stop is approaching, just press the red button. And if it doesn't have one, pull on that old school lever right above the windows. These days, Google Maps and City Mapper are smart enough to get you around and let you know which lines are gonna still be open late into the night. Most trains on weeknights are gonna end around 12 a.m. and on the weekends, they're gonna go a couple hours longer. Check the site or app to find out, but it's a safe bet that if you go after 2 a.m., the trains will be done, but they will start up again at a little after 4 a.m. Taking the buses in the late hours of the night through LA is gonna find you with some less than desirable characters. I'm just keeping it real. Now that you know these tips, you're gonna be totally fine. And after a few trips and rides, you're gonna be a pro and have the total hang of it. Honestly, I messed it up a couple times and was totally fine. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like more tips in LA and foodie adventures, then add this channel to your already awesome subscription list. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get new videos.